Today we're making these mini chicken pot pies, the perfect comfort food. Hi, I'm Tara with Simply Made Eats and welcome to my channel. Today we're making these mini chicken pot pies. These are super fun. My kids love them, my husband loves them. It's just like the ultimate comfort food. It's great for fall and winter dinners and they cook all in a muffin pan. We're gonna be using puff pastry and rotisserie chicken just to save a little bit of time on prep work. This one only takes 45 minutes from start to finish, so let's get started. We have super easy prep work for this one. We're gonna get started with a yellow onion. We just need three tablespoons and you wanna dice it pretty nice and fine for this one. We don't wanna have to cook it for too long. We also have two garlic cloves that we wanna peel and mince. Next we have our rotisserie chicken. We're only using a cup of rotisserie chicken, so it's about a breast or so. You wanna make sure to remove the skin and then just pull it apart into pieces. Then I like to just take my knife and just roughly chop through it just to make those pieces a little bit smaller. Next up, we're gonna do our egg wash. This is just one egg, and then we're gonna use a tablespoon of water. We just wanna whisk these together. We're gonna to be brushing this on the puff pastry before we cook it in the oven, just so it makes it really nice and golden and flaky. We're also gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees. For our puff pastry brand, we're gonna be using the Just Roll brand. You can use whatever you want. I just like this one because it's in the refrigerator section, so I can just pick it up from the store. I don't have to worry about unthawing it like before I work with it. One thing to remember is you don't wanna pull it out of the fridge until right before you use it because it loves to get a little bit sticky and it'll get hard to work with. This one's also great because it comes on a piece of parchment paper so it's really easy just to roll out. You don't have to worry about doing it yourself. So what we wanna do is just roll this out into a sheet and then we're gonna be slicing this into 12 equal sections which I'm terrible at this but we're gonna just try our best. When you're slicing, you wanna cut lengthwise twice to create three rows. Then you're gonna turn it the other way and we wanna create four rows, so we need three slices. We're also gonna really heavily grease with some vegetable oil or you can use cooking spray. We wanna grease our muffin tin so that it doesn't stick at the end because that's such a pain. Next, you're just gonna grab one of the squares and I like to just kind of make it a little bit bigger. Just give it a nice little stretch. And you want to just sit it right into your muffin tin. Make sure it fills the edges. And then I also, I want to make sure that this doesn't swell like crazy on the bottom. So I just take a little fork and I just give it some pricks just so it knows like to just kind of stay down on that part. Then you just want to repeat this with every single one of them. It goes really fast. This is one of my favorite little recipes to make, like in the fall and winter, it's October, so I'm like just getting in that cozy season. I'm also huge on soups. My dog is in the living room snoring right now. He must be like ready for comfort season too. <laughs> Once we get our dough all ready, we're gonna go ahead, pop these in the fridge so we can make our filling. It's always fun to find a spot in my fridge. It's not very easy. For this portion, you guys know I'm using my Dutch oven. You can also use a skillet with just a deep side. Just make sure that it like can hold a lot because we don't wanna to have to worry about switching pans like as you go, it's just annoying. We wanna heat our Dutch oven to medium low heat. Then we're gonna add in our salted butter and just let that melt. Next, we're gonna add in those onions. We've got some salt, pepper, and dried thyme just for a little bit of flavor. You just wanna stir this up. We're gonna cook those onions for about three to five minutes until they're nice and softened, not brown, but just really nice and softened. Then add in that garlic, cook that for about 60 seconds. We're gonna add in some flour. This is gonna make our roux, which is gonna thicken that base of our broth so it's really nice and thick like chicken pot pie usually is. Next, you're gonna add in that chicken stock just a little bit at a time and you wanna stir this continuously until that gets really nice and light and creamy with no chunks of butter and flour in it. You kind of have to work at this a little bit. Just keep adding it slowly and just let it smooth out. Next, we're gonna add in our rotisserie chicken and we've got those frozen carrots and peas. We're gonna stir those in and then pour in some whole milk. Stir this up. We're gonna let this cook for about four to five minutes until it gets really thick like gravy. Once I get the filling nice and thick, I like to just let it cool for about five minutes just so it's not like piping hot. And it's also gonna thicken up as it cools. So if it's a little bit on the runny side, it's okay. But I really like to try and get this almost like a gravy before I pull it from the heat. We want it really nice and thick so it doesn't run out of our puff pastry. 
Okay, so we're officially ready to assemble these. I like to use one of these little cookie scoopers just so I know that I'm getting like pretty much the same amount in each one. And I'm gonna say we're gonna add about two tablespoons of filling to each one. You don't wanna overfill them because it's just gonna make a mess in the oven. So I just go ahead and scoop right from my pot and go ahead and add that filling in. I'm doing it just a little bit below like the even rim of the muffin pan. Next to finish this up, I just take these little corners and just tuck them in. Hutch is having a fit right now. I just think it looks kind of pretty. And then we're gonna brush our egg wash right over the top of this. You can see like when I fold these, I'm not pressing down at all on them. I'm just kind of like shaping them a little bit the way that I want them to cook. We don't want to press down because it's just going to make the filling seep right out. Once we get these all filled up, we're going to go ahead and pop them into a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and light and fluffy, then pull them out. Once they come out of the oven, you want to just allow these to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes and then just run a butter knife around the outside and they should like pop right out. Since we use the vegetable oil spray, they don't stick at all. I'm also going to tap mine with just a little bit of fresh parsley just for color. It makes it look really, really nice and pretty. That's it, we're all done with these mini chicken pot pies. I hope you guys love this one. My husband just came home from work and ate four of them before he'd even take pictures. These are so good, they are really savory, and I know you guys will love this one. Perfect for fall and winter. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you guys make them. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you do. Make sure to subscribe for new recipes every single week, and give this video a like. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye!